Hi and welcome back to my devlog series where I'm making a collectathon platformer game inspired by games like Banjo Kazooie and the 3D Mario games. And in the last devlog, the game looked something like this. And a lot has happened since then. And I will share the progress on how I got it looking like this. It's really been like two months or almost three months at the time of making this. I've really been slacking off and the title of this video says one month. Well that's because I haven't really worked on a game in a month or two. Blame all the anime I've been binge watching. I've watched a ton of One Piece, Demon Slayer's brand new season, the entirety of Chainsaw Man, Death Note, and right now watching Seven Deadly Sins and Vinland Saga. All of these are great animes, but enough of that. So since the last devlog, I've been like a chicken, switching back and forth between go to 3.5 to go to 4.0, back to 3.5, and then back again to for and you're probably asking why would anyone do that well the reason for this is that i wanted all the new features of goaded 4 but it was very daunting and very different from 3.5 so therefore i switched back again but after a while i finally made up my mind to stick with and learn goaded 4 and i finally feel right at home with goaded 4 now but that's not all since the last devlog a super cool thing about goaded 4 is that it has blender support which previous version of goaded didn't have so before Godot 4, you had to export from Blender to Godot, and every time you wanted to make any changes, you had to do it all again. And simply put, it was very time intensive and a pain in the if you wanted to make any changes. But now with the new Blender support, it's like real-time integration. You make the changes and save, and BAM! Updates immediately in Godot. It's really a game changer. I also mentioned in the last devlog that I was going to add an outline shader and a tune shader, and I tested it, but I didn't get the result I was looking for but I might come back to it in the future. And I also added Grass with the help of this tutorial, and he was kind enough to leave the project in the description, but actually, big thanks. And of course, I also added Water. Well, no, Grass needs water to grow. I don't know why, but a big thing that changed from Go to 3.5 to Go to 4 was everything was really big in Go to 4. So I had to rescale everything to the right size. And a pro tip, use grid textures and your player model close by, it really helps. And yeah, almost forgot I made a couple models for the game as well, here they are. The train station. This took way too long, somehow I remade it like 3 times because I was trying out stuff with the fans and stuff. So it took upwards of 4 hours. Next. The train. This one, uh, oh man, this took super long, 5 plus hours. And I'm not even happy with how it turned out. Unlucky. We go next. The train house. This probably took me about an hour. You might think it looks weird right now with all the red windows. But keep in mind, all of these models are still work in progress and I'll, I'll probably fix them later. The bridge. This one is probably my favorite out of all of them. And when I made this, I learned how to make cuts in wood so it looks a little bit more detailed than the rest of the models. The fireplace. For this one I think the logs look really good, but the actual fireplace looks like crap, so I'll definitely remake it sometime. The tree and the bush. And for these two, I actually recently replaced the old ones that were fully made in Blender, and the new way of doing it is much easier and faster, and it's all done in Godot with the leaves. They still need some fine tuning to get them just right, but for now I'm actually really happy with them. And if you also want to make trees and bushes just like mine, I've made a tutorial on how you can do that. The wall. This was inspired by some unit asset I saw online, but I think it looks alright, but I'll still probably scrap it later, because I want a more stylized cliffside, but this model would look great in a Roblox game. And if you're wondering why it took so long for me to make the models, let's just say I'm a noob. And I also made a Ko-Fi page, and in the shop you can get all the models I made except the fireplace because it's too ugly, and you can get them all for free. Who doesn't like free stuff, am I right? And if you wanna support me and get regular update on the game's progress and other perks, consider becoming a member. And with all of the models finished, I wanted to make a Steam page for the game, 
but I couldn't call it a game when there is no objective. At this point it was just a walking simulator and I had to fix that, so I added something to collect. Right now it's only these tickets that you collect, but in the future there will be more to collect. And everything is still pretty much placeholder stuff, and I'll go back and make changes later. And there's also some cool UI that counts up how many tickets you have collected. And now the game was ready for Steam, so I applied to the Steamworks distribution program and normally this takes 2 days to get accepted, but someone may or may not have forgotten their full name twice, so it took more like 3 weeks to get accepted. But finally we got a Steam page boys, and you know what to do, wishlist now or else. Future plans. So let's start with the elephant in the room, the character model. Right now it's just this prototype looking model and I worked hard and really tried my best, but it still ended up looking like this. And no, it's not supposed to look like a chicken. I'll try to level up my skills in modeling characters. I do actually have a cool idea for the character. So I recently stumbled upon this Pokemon and I thought wow, that's one ugly Pokemon. But then I saw it was holding some leaves. So that got me thinking, it could be really cool if the game character was holding some leaves. And that would make for a lot of interesting gameplay aspects. For one, I imagine it being able to produce a strong wind and take out a fire. And also a way of dealing damage to enemies. I think it could be cool and allow for interesting puzzles as well. But please let me know what you think about it down in the comments or join my discord server. We're a cool group of a whole 10 people. Let's make it 100 before the end of the year. And there's also a few minor things I want added like a dust trail after your character when he runs. Just like all the cool games out there. You may have noticed that the fireplace is just smoke. So I have to level up my skills in particles as well but that's really scary. And I also got some cool ideas for different worlds, but I'll save that for the next devlog. And I've made some tutorials that you should watch after this if you haven't already. 